How can one control sense and mind? Practice. So anytime you feel like you're out of control, you're gonna feel out of control probably a lot, which is fine. And, and you won't notice it and you won't know how to change it a lot. That's okay too. But every time you catch it, try to do your best to do something about it. So think about a, a time, you know, recently when you lost control, you, you didn't feel in control of your mind, your senses, uh, you did something that you weren't proud of, you reacted out of emotion, rage, whatever, right? You did something that you weren't necessarily proud of, of how you want to handle the situation in the future. So you reflect on it, right? Maybe that happened yesterday and, and you were so upset that you can only a day later come to realize that maybe you didn't react how you wanted to. So you do your best to now one day later, think about how you will do it a little bit better next time. And your only goal is to shorten that window. So you're going from it taking 24 hours to then taking 20 hours the next time and then 18 hours the next time and then 12 hours the next time. And it may not feel like you're making progress, but you're making a lot of progress. If you're going from 24 hours later, you realize you made a mistake to 12 hours later, that's a lot of progress. So you're going from 24 hours to 20 to 16, to eventually you get down to 12. Then you keep shortening that gap, 12 to eight to six to, to, to four and <laughs> trying to do my math and watch this to two to one right you're slowly getting better at catching it afterwards so now you're one hour away now you did something you, you reacted you were emotional you're angry you're upset you didn't react how you wanted to and now an hour later you're able to catch it and then half an hour later and then 15 minutes later and then five minutes later and then you're gonna get to this special point where you you catch it right away where you've been doing the training from going from 24 hours later, you realize you did something wrong to in the moment, right? So you're about to happen. You catch yourself before it happens. I'm about to react in a way that I don't want to react. I'm about to react the way that I've always reacted and now I want to change it. And it's having the courage to pause, to stop, to, to say, this is how I want to be acting now and then to do the right thing, the thing that will make you proud. Most people don't pay enough attention to the progress. And so they feel that just because you catch it 12 hours later, you still didn't fix it. And so you feel like you're not making progress at all. So you stop trying where the key is that you're making progress every time and you're catching a little bit sooner until you catch it in the moment and then having the courage to actually take the right action to do the thing that will make you actually proud. That's the process.